Hello, this is William Dermot Johnson, and today's topic, when to make skill checks. When to roll dice to see whether your character succeeds or fails. The answer is when it is meaningful. When either success and or failure would have meaning to the ongoing story, to what's going on. Think of it like being a book or a movie. If it is just some routine thing that your character is doing, you know, that you do not need to make a roll to make breakfast. You do not need to make a roll to put your shoes on. You do not need to make a roll to get to work. These are mundane, everything, everyday things that hopefully you've been doing since you were born or have been taught to since you were a little child. You know how to do them. There's no need to make a roll. This is not to say that accidents don't happen. They certainly happen in the real world. People, people get in car accidents. People burn themselves making their, making their breakfast. People trip over their own feet, putting on their shoes, crack their head on, them, on the dresser, lay out their scalp, and die. It can happen. However, if you are in a role-playing game, you are rolling dice which are going to give results quite higher chance of what they call catastrophic failure. For example, rolling a three in GURPS, rolling a one with D20 in your Dungeons and Dragons games, rolling snake highs in any 2D6 or 2D8 system. These actually have quite high, su high success percentages compared to the random out of the blue accidents which well, they do happen to kill people, but they're not as common as 1 in 216 for a free in GURPS, 1 in 36 for a snake eyes on dice, 1 in, one in 20 for a rolling a 1 on the d20. They're not that common. If you insist on characters rolling their skill checks for each and every little thing, your game's going to look like Monty Python and the Quest for the Holy Grail. Your characters are going to look like buffoons. They're going to fail. They're going to fail a lot. And the game will descend into buffoonery and tomfoolery and stupidity. And if you're playing a comedy game or you want to have some comedy themes in your game, then maybe you should insist that they do they roll over each and every little thing. However, if you're going for something with a little more serious tone, then don't. Only roll when it is meaningful, when it is important when there is something riding on it. Uh, that brings us to the riding skill. Uh, one of the early pioneers of RPGs pointed out that adventurers never fell off their horses until the riding skill was <laughs> put into the game. Before then, it was assumed they could just ride places. And this can apply for any get from A to B skill. Ride, drive, pilot spaceship. Think of Han Solo and Star Wars. Han Solo does not need to make a pilot starship roll to take off and go into orbit. That's not needed. He can do that. He's presumably been flying that spaceship of his for how many years? He knows how to fly it. However, if he wants to take off from, say, a hidden rebel base while the Imperials are closing in on him and setting up setting up some heavy weapons to bring the ship down, he may need to make a school roll then to get the ship started up, booted and going before the Imperials can close the net. That's important. That's meaningful. Does he get away? Does he get captured? Again, meaningful results either way, success or failure. And in that example, we see that in The Empire Strikes Back, he gets away in the railway base. Darth Vader presumably chokes everyone they're responsible. Because obviously he was getting this choking on. But, so, that is an example. Another example could be for the ride school. You do not make a ride school going somewhere, normally. However, if your character is in a hurry, if the you are carrying a message, and that message must be delivered in two days, and normally it takes three days to get there riding, then that is grounds for a ride skill to go somewhere. You've got to do it in time. You're in a hurry. You've got to make sure 
that no accident befalls you. So there are meaningful results. The message gets delivered or it does not. The story can branch either way depending on those results. So a ride school there would be warranted. It would be important. And the player should get to make it. And if they get to say, well, ha, I have ride four. Or well, I'm proficient in riding. Or I have six ranks in riding. Then they've probably got a good chance of succeeding. But there's still a non-zero chance of something befalling them. And since it is an important dramatic tipping point in the story, then something meaningful can happen either way. And if they do fail, for whatever reason, have a reason why they fail. Um, you can, and this is where the dice roll can actually be important and meaningful and useful to you. If it's only just failed, then maybe they get only just a little too late. Maybe there is still time to salvage the situation. Maybe it only makes things a little more difficult. The message was to get reinforcements. The reinforcements will now be slightly late. Or the message was to summon the doctors. The doctors now have less time to try and find the cure. By the way, it is made slightly more difficult. If it is a more medium sort of failure, there may be something bad. I mean, you have outright failed. You did not get there in time. The horse dropped dead of exhaustion. Or horse for a shoe, and you had to run the rest of the way on foot, and consequently were way too late. You have failed. But now we know why, we have a reason, we don't just simply have, oh, I rolled a free, I failed. You have, I rolled a free, the horse for a shoe, I had to make the rest of the way on foot, I tried to get there as fast as I could, but alas, I was too late. I failed, and now the story goes down the path where you fail. And have a plan for what happens if the heroes do fail. <laughs> If they do fail at what they are attempting to do, have a reason why and have a consequence why. Don't just say, oh, well, I guess you're all dead then. Of course you're playing that Cthulhu type game and, well, the race to stop the cult is from summoning the dread, the dread monster that's going to eat the earth. Well, in that case, yes. Failure does mean the end of the story and the end of the world. But you sort of knew that going in because it says Call of Cthulhu on the tin. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Fluffy bummies turn up and... Give you a noogies. No, Cthulhu turns up and eats everybody. And of course, you have that. And this is where you have the point for the catastrophic failure. The subject of those amusing, amusing little pictures you see on Facebook and around the internet. Where the, you have some hero saying, I do this. And then a picture of Gary Gygax saying, make a roll. And then a picture of a one on a d20. And then a comic. Or semi-funny, tragic result that happens. Okay, on one, in an important circumstance, that's what can happen. If, for the example of trying to make it somewhere in time on a horseback, maybe the horse has an accident and throws you. And now you are hurt and riderless. Maybe the horse breaks a leg and you get thrown and are hurt and are now riderless. Or, perhaps... You get ambushed by bandits. Bandits are a thing in most fantasy universes. And they seem to ambush heavily armed parties. They're certainly going to jump a lone person on a horse who doesn't is, is paying attention on how fast they're going and not where they're going. So you now have to deal with bandits. The bandit one is actually quite good because it throws a complication on the player and the player can then react to it however they can. Now they fight the bandits, they pay them off, they give a stirring speech about why they must be allowed to continue on their way because otherwise doom and wreck and ruin and maybe they sway the bandits and convince them that oh yes they, they should let this person go just this once because it is so important and again that would be the that would be call for making a role some sort of persuade role or charisma role or charm role or face role whatever it is in your system and again things can go away. Maybe, they're, maybe they have a critical success at that point. Maybe they get given help. Maybe the bandits are moved by your stirring speech and think, well, we'll give you a fresh horse. And that means you get there in time. No, no, no more roll needed. You came across a complication, you somehow made the best out of it. And it boosted you, it got you there. So consider putting that. Consider the results of a critical success. What happens if they do extremely well? In the example of making 
making a simple riding roll. What are the results of a critical success? Have that in mind. Is there extra time? Is whatever needs to be done, be it some reinforcements, get the doctors for a cure, maybe they have extra time. Maybe there's time to get more reinforcements. The, arm, the army coming to relieve the other beleaguered PCs is larger. The fight gets won quite easily. Or if it is a rush to get a cure, summon doctors for a cure, maybe they get they have more time to get more supplies so they can solve that medical problem quickly. They get a bonus on that. Critical success should always have meaning as well. So that has been my mad ramblings on make real role make only make skill roles when they are meaningful. And when they are meaningful, have meaningful results. And have an idea of what's going to happen. Should the player succeed, fail, fail badly, critically fail, and have some unforeseen complication arise. And also, what should happen if they make a critical success, even in something as mundane seeming as a ride roll. Thank you.